so different. Like, only the biggest dorks in our year wanted to study computer class. Now everyone wants to be the next Mark Zuckerberg. Computers that we used were as big as televisions. We kept all of our information on floppy disks, which ironically were very hard. Those were mobile phones, okay? I remember when my parents got one, I was like, that is like the coolest thing in the world. Now that actually makes me feel sick. This was Pac-Man. This kind of computer graphic made us go, I didn't come here today to tell you what you can and can't do, but there are some things that I've learned and witnessed from being in this business. And I know that a split decision can have lifelong consequences. You know, you always hear people say a picture tells a thousand stories. When it's online, it lives for a thousand years. So always, always think before you post. You know, the golden rule online is the golden rule in life. You should always treat people the way you want to be treated. Instagram your friends the way you would like to be grand with perfect lighting, no wrinkles, a filter chosen to perfectly suit your complexion, and a photo crop to accentuate the best parts of your outfit, right? Do you know, I used to get jealous when I saw photos of people at parties that I wasn't invited to, but then I reminded myself that people only show you what they want to showcase. You know, you always see those massive group shots of everyone going nuts on the dance floor. Or there's always that photo of like Emma hanging out with all the hot guys, right? That's like one second, that's a blip. It doesn't capture everything. Like why don't you ever see a photo of like the person that's sitting in the corner of the dance floor tagging everyone in that massive group photo? Do you know, next party I go to, I'm gonna like stand outside the bathroom, take a photo of the huge queue and go jealous much. I can guarantee you that most of the stuff that goes through my head should not be shared. Like you wouldn't walk up to a stranger in the street and you wouldn't say, hey, I, uh, today I had smashed avocado on toast, broke up with my boyfriend and here's my home address. Do you know in my day bullies used to like tie people's shoelaces together, throw people in trash cans and steal their lunch money. Now we have cyberbullying, which is mean people sitting behind a computer, writing nasty comments, often anonymously, which is incredibly hurtful. And they're the worst kind of bullies because often what they do is very painful without any consequences to them. Do you know, Facebook and all social networks capture moments like snapshots. There are so many instances that I remember where I've been so busy trying to take an update for Facebook or write, write a post for Twitter that before I know it, the moment's gone. Like I've got it on my social media, you can see that I was there, I've got the likes, I've got the shares, I've got the retweets, but I don't actually have the memory to hold on to. You know, I've learned that social media and technology, it makes me feel more switched on, but if I use it too much, it actually makes me more disconnected. When you get old, like me in your 30s, and you look back on your life, you're not going to be thinking, oh man, I wish I would have regrammed that photo of Angry Cat. You'll be thinking about your friendships, your family, and all of those personal moments. <laughs>